Hey guys, and right now I'm going to be discussing with you the Druid, well, level 87 ability called Symbiosis. Now there's a lot of discussion going around, some people say it's extremely overpowered, and this might just end up as something simply that just gives Druids that extra edge to a raid. You know, it might give you a bit more of an incentive to have a specific Druid in your raid. So as you can see from this video, the spells we gain and the spells we give to people are pretty much dependent on what spec we are. So I'm not going to go through them all, but there are some pretty interesting ones and some that aren't so interesting. So for example, you know, we'll be able to get a bone shield as a guardian, which will help out a bit. You know, as feral, you can get frost nova, divine shield got redirect soul swap that might be quite interesting it now works with our rip and our rake so that's pretty nice uh, restoration they seem pretty much like kind of well survival kind of cooldown so we've got icebound fortitude deterrence ice block we get cleanse off a of paladin which isn't really so interesting because obviously we already have our own cleanse if you balance you get things like Master Spell, Cloak of Shadows, Purge, we can get Mirror Image which is quite nice, you know, Anti-Magic Shell might be alright, so we'll have to see about that. And then for the spells that we actually give away depends on which spec the other person actually is, so obviously, you know, for Hunters there are some classes where you only get one spell, Mages get Healing Touch not really that interesting and it has a 10 second cooldown so we'll have to see about that see if that actually works out but obviously priest for example you know as disc and holy we get entangling roots so obviously shadow gets tranquility back because i think they actually remove divine him away from shadow and the entangling roots for both disc and holy could be really nice for that extra peel in pvp Obviously Warlocks have got Rejuvenation which is yet again another self heal so that's quite interesting. Shamans get Solar Beam or even Proud so we'll have to see how that works out. Restoration Shammies may be stealthing around a bit so this ability is looking pretty overpowered overall. You know however it is a long cast and it's not going to be easily switchable especially in arenas and PvP situations. So I guess Blizzard will just have to make sure they're balancing it out alright. Now, one of the only problems with this ability that I can really see hitting WoW generally is the fact that we don't want to see class stacking occurring. A good example of this was in Cataclysm the Warlock Dark Intent buff. You know, the Boomkins would want it, Shadow Priests would want it, Warlocks would be wanted to give it to other Warlocks fire mages would want it you know there was kind of a big argument every time warlock shouted who wants my dark intent you know also resto druids wanted it and even in some cases holy priests would be after it so you know really everybody wanted this dark intent buff and i'm just hoping that blizzard kind of makes it more well not to the point as dark intent was where it's kind of such a big increase because I know 3% increase from the Dark Intent didn't really sound like much however you know 3% DPS increase over the course of a whole fight it really adds up quite a lot and it could end up adding 1 maybe 2k DPS to you which is obviously an awful lot over the course of a fight.